This is Alan with Grilling Network. Welcome. So glad you could join us today. We're about ready to fire up our vertical offset smoker from Lone Star Grills to smoke some leg quarters. Let's get cooking. For today's cook, we'll be using pecan wood. Let's show you how easy it is to fire up this bad boy. To fire this bad boy up, it's quite simple. All you need is a chimney, some lump charcoal, I like using royal oak, and some starters. So let's do that now. Place these starters underneath your chimney. really like using royal oak. Set that aside, grab these loose pieces. Take an igniter. That's it. It's that easy. So we'll wait about 20 minutes while that chimney gets ignited and we'll show you the next step. It's been about 10 minutes now and our lump charcoal is ready to be placed inside of the firebox. Let's do that now. Make sure you guys use some gloves. Love the size of this firebox, plenty of room. As I mentioned, we'll be using some pecan. I'm going to toss about two nice sized logs on there to start off with. We'll open our vent about three quarters of the way. Once our temperature reaches 250. We'll start dialing down. The temperature that we're going for is 275. We'll see you back soon. As our pit is coming up to temp, let's prepare our chicken. One of the things that I think is crucial when uh, cooking chicken is making sure that you brine it before you cook it. It adds so much flavor and makes the chicken that much juicier. For my brine, I'm using the bird bath from Meat Church. Awesome stuff. If you guys haven't tried it, make sure you check it out. The instructions say a cup to half a gallon of water. So this has got it, your sugars, salt, and spices. All right, we'll give that a good mix. Let it dissolve. And if we need more, I'll just definitely make more. Mileage may vary, so depending on how much chicken you have. So for these leg quarters, trimming is going to be quite simple. As you see in the back right here, it's got a lot of extra fat and skin. I don't like that. So all I'm going to do is take a sharp knife and that way I can show you guys and just cut that off. If there's any of these fat deposits like right here, I also trim that off and that's it. Again, look at that. Who wants that, right? So we're just going to trim that off. Make sure you cut away from yourself. I get a lot of comments saying that I don't cut right, but a lot of times it's for a video, making sure you guys can see it, but it's all good. We'll let this brine for about an hour finish the rest of these off camera. By then our pitch should be up to temp. We'll see you back soon. 
As I mentioned earlier, brining is one of the most important parts when preparing poultry. It not only adds flavor, but moisture. So I let it go for about two hours. Our pit is rocking 275. Let's prepare the next step of our chicken quarters. And that's applying some rub. As you guys know, I'm a, I love meat church. So we're gonna apply, this is some of their garlic and herb. Just lightly dust it. If you want, you can peel back the skin and get some of the meat, but I'm sure this is gonna be enough. Next, we're gonna pull off the trays. And I'm double insulated. Make sure you guys wear insulation if you're doing this. These grates are quite hot. And here it's sizzling. I'll finish the rest of this off camera. As I mentioned, it's about an hour to hour and a half cook. We'll make sure that we check with our thermal pan for doneness. We'll see you back soon. It's been one hour and I went ahead and placed another log of pecan into the firebox to maintain our pit at 275. Let's check on the temperature of our chicken quarters. I'm using my trusty thermal pen. Wow, that looks and smells amazing. Let's go into the thigh. This one's 143, 144, 144. This one's 148. What we're shooting for is 180. We'll let this go for another 20 minutes and we'll saw some and we'll do that next. It's been another 20 minutes. Let's check on the quarters. They are starting to darken a lot more. 155. These are 160, 164. This one's 170. So these are about done. They need about another 15 minutes. We're gonna saw some right now. The way I do it, I just pour a jar of my favorite barbecue sauce into a bowl like this. Take the leg quarter. And place it back on the grill. We'll finish this up off camera, let it go for like, a, like I said another 15 minutes and we'll see you back soon. Man, these look and smell phenomenal. I can't wait to give them a try. As you can see, very juicy. Let's give this a try. That was absolutely amazing. It's a must try. I'm highly impressed with my new vertical offset smoker from Lone Star Grills. Make sure you check them out. They have a variety of grills to meet any need. And the bird bath from Meat Church took my chicken to another level. As I mentioned before, brining is, makes the world a difference. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, leave comments below. And as my daughter said, to be hip, smash that like button. We'll see you guys on the next one.